Show me a way to get more things done. That is a question that Charles Schwab asked a guy by the name of Ivy Lee back in 1918. And I think it's a really powerful message. I was recently sent this, so I wanted to share it with you. And what this is, is the Ivy Lee method, the daily routine experts recommend for peak productivity, which is a question I get asked a lot. How can I accomplish more? How can I make sure that I move faster? And this, I think, will help that. So let me share with you what this method is. By 1918, Charles M. Schwab was one of the richest men in the world. Schwab was the president of Bethlehem Steel Corporation, which was the largest shipbuilder and the second largest steel producer in America at the time. I think that was right behind Andrew Carnegie. The famous inventor Thomas Edison once referred to Schwab as the master hustler. He was constantly seeking an edge over the competition. One day in 1918, in his quest to increase the efficiency of his team and discover better ways to get things done, Schwab arranged a meeting with the highly respected productivity consultant named Ivy Lee. Lee was a businessman and successful in his own right and is widely remembered as the pioneer in the field of public relations. As the story goes, Schwab brought Lee into his office and said, show me a way to get more things done. Lee replied, give me 15 minutes with each of your executives. Schwab asked, how much will it cost me? Lee said, nothing, unless it works. After three months, you can send me a check for whatever you feel it's worth to you. And so what was the Ivy Lee method? During his 15 minutes with each executive, Ivy Lee explained his daily routine, which was simple, for achieving peak productivity. At the end of each workday, Write down the six most important things you need to accomplish tomorrow. Do not write down more than six tasks. Prioritize those six items in order of their true importance. When you arrive tomorrow, concentrate only on the first task. Work that task until it's finished before moving on to the second task. Approach the rest of your list in the same fashion. At the end of the day, move any unfinished items to the new list of six tasks for the following day. Repeat the process every working day. The strategy sounded simple, but Schwab and his executive team at Bethlehem Steel gave it a try. After three months, Schwab was so delighted with the progress his company had made that he called Lee into his office and wrote him a check for $25,000. A check for $25,000 written in 1918 is more than $400,000 today. The Ivy Lee method of prioritizing your to-do list seems stupidly simple. How could something this simple be worth so much and what makes it so effective? Well, it works because you take the time to actually think about what will move the needle on your business the most and you focus on that. You don't get sidelined into a bunch of other things that take you off task. I often refer to the Self Journal. It's a journal put out by Best Self Company. Very, very similar. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if they knew who Ivy Lee was because uh, they just list the three things instead of the six things. But I hope this is helpful to you. I think if you're able to go ahead and implement this every night and then work those most important things that move the needle, you're going to be very pleased with the results that you get and you're going to find that you get to your goal faster than if you let the outside priorities of the day govern what you do as opposed to you deciding what you're going to do. Okay, so if you have any questions or comments or ideas for future episodes, please email bruce at brucewhipple.com. And if you're not already on our mailing list, head over to brucewhipple.com and sign up and grab any of the free reports. That'll put you on the mailing list. There is a lot of free information you can use to acquire already profitable businesses. This is Bruce Whipple. Thanks for listening to the Business Acquisition Podcast. And remember, you miss 100% of the opportunities you failed to take. And procrastination truly is the thief of time. So do something today, please. Your future self will be proud of you.